Well here we are in Gloucester and we're just having a quick look round. Yeah, we're just in the centre now, just having a look at one or two of the you know bits down the high street, the church and things like that. And here we are, we have a we're down on the docks in Gloucester now, we have a an old looks like a steam powered crane and it runs on uh, railway tracks. And we've got narrow boat here turning round, look, just in the just in the dock. And we'll give you a look where we are. And you've got more narrow boats as you can see there. Look. Quite a popular place this. And we've got a narrow boat in dry dock. It looks as like if it must have turned turtle because there's mud all over it. And they're uh, repairing it. It's a bit windy today, but if you look, we've got Oliver Cromwell there. Look, it's an old paddle steamer and it's uh, a floating hotel by the look of it. Just outside at National Waterway Museum now. Let's have a look. And we've got like a steel boat on a on a bogey. And here we are, we have an old, well it looks maybe 100 year old or more, steam uh, crane built by William Barnforth of, uh, of Rodley Lane Leeds in 1880, it lifts one tonne. It was originally used at the Kirst, Kirkstall Forge at Leeds. And we've got these old wooden bogies here, look, well the frames there. And if you look down below, look, you can see it's on an old wooden turntable there, look, to uh, obviously change the direction. We're just going to give you a quick look at Cathedral here. It's that big, we just can't get far enough back to get a good shot. And there we are. And we've got a sculpture here just outside the front, but we can't really make out what it's meant to be, but we'll give you a look anyway. And all we're doing today is just giving you a quick look, a quick look round Gloucester. It's nothing to do with the walks we're doing, but just gives you an idea what the area is like. And just in front of the cathedral you have a couple of sculptures here, look. Before we start our walk, we're going to have a quick look at the Dean Forest Railway at Park End. Just a little look at the station here, look, waiting rooms and uh, things like that. Just a nice little shot, we'll just give you a quick look round. Well worth a visit this. It's just setting off now to diesel. There we are, it's gone. Today we're parked about a mile out of uh, Park End, just near the stoneworks. You can see the signpost there says Gloucester Way. We're going to pick up the railway line, walk up towards Cinderford, where the line clock crosses the Gloucester Way, and then make our way back to here and see what we can find.
So immediate, immediately we turn, we turn left. You'll see the ponds immediately in front of you. Walk to the far side of the ponds and then we're going to follow the old railway line. And the first thing we notice is a sign saying wheelchair accessible so that's good news is that. So we just keep heading forward it's very level it's the old railway bed now. We drop down off the track just to have a quick look at some of these ducks I've never seen out like these in my life. I must admit we don't know what type of ducks these are but certainly bonny looking whatever they are sort of a reddish head and look at that Well, I think we'll have to leave it now. But you certainly need your camera. As we work further along the path on the, near the ponds, this isn't suitable for wheelchairs. Just the first bit is for fishing by the look of it. And the, ra the old railway line, but you know, you can only come say a couple hundred feet by the ponds and the wheelchair access runs out. But on the top railway line you can, you know, we're going to see how far you can go and we'll let you know. Yeah, just at the end of the picnic tables there's your pond and we decide to take a quick look before we carry on our walk. And we just cross over the little bridge to have a look, see if there's any shots we can take before we come back. And straight away we've got a coop there, look, just looking for his, his breakfast and have a little scratch there. We've got a little tiny robin, he's about 10 foot ahead of me. Look at that, just stood, just sat there. And I think we've got a little dab chick here. We haven't walked 50 feet. He's down. He's up again. He's down again. We've got a couple of swans here with two, four, six, seven signets. Where they all belong to them, I don't know. We're about six foot away, sat on a seat from all these signets here. Somebody just walked by the couple of dogs and did you see a razor wings then? And we'll just give you a view of the set in there, look. Within six feet of these and they're just not bothered, they're just letting us film away here. Yeah? This is absolutely fabulous place is this. We've hardly started, yeah. But we're not disturbing them. Like get with our ackles up now because dogs are on there. Just watch them when their ackles go. Oh. Quick, Janice. We're going to give a load of quick shots today to see as much of this forest as we can. There we are with water in there, look. He won't turn round though. Mm. 
watering a couple of ducks and then the dab chick there he's gone just as we're going to leave heron flies in front of us he's just still we're still on the bridge we don't want to leave there's so much to film here but we've got a lot of walking to do yeah but uh, look at the wildlife we've already turned up we haven't been going 20 minutes and we've, we've never walked this walk before but what a day this is turning out to be he stood there for us we've got a little robin on right hand side where we've already filmed him it's hard to believe is this in it all this wildlife we haven't <laughs> badly gone anywhere and as you can see you've got picnic tables here look people are there enjoying their uh, barbecuing or picnics or whatever and if you look at the bit round the tables it's where the wild boar have been rooting stuff up we hope we see one today we have to leave the ponds and we're heading forward up the road which was the old railway line now and as you're walking down the road you'll see a bird table and you know there's plenty of bird life there and just at back there's like a peanut holder we'll have a look at that You got that peanut holder Janice as we turn left from the ponds we're out onto the road it's shared with cyclists and walkers and car to lead to the ponds and just before the road on your right hand side we see the sign there look on your right and then we just turn in and head forward towards the road then we just cross over the road to the other side 